You can argue for a long time about which cars are the best in the world, but it is impossible to argue the fact that Mercedes-Benz is one of the leaders in innovation and development. While other automakers claim that their electric cars are expected to drive 1,000 kilometers, Mercedes has already developed such a car and proven its capabilities. The company set a record by driving over 1,000 kilometers on a single battery charge, with an average power consumption of 8.7 kilowatt per 100 kilometers. But let's start from the beginning. On January the 3rd, the Germans presented their Mercedes-Benz Vision EQXX concept the most efficient vehicle ever designed by Mercedes. Fundamental rethinking of basic principles. A car that brings the electric vehicle's efficiency to a new level. Confirmation of Mercedes' leadership in electromobility and software. And these are just a few compliments that the car received during the presentation. According to Ola Shalanius, chairman of the board of management of Mercedes-Benz AG, Vision EQXX is how we imagine the electric vehicle's future. This is a leading car that looks amazing and futuristic. It represents what our entire company is moving towards. We will produce the most desirable electric vehicles in the world. Vision EQXX is the result of the German engineers' work to overcome technological barriers in all directions. First, using advanced electric transmission. Second, using ultra-lightweight construction. Third, using environmentally friendly and recyclable materials. The result was a masterpiece of efficiency, but before the presentation, it was all just words, until there was practical confirmation. In April, the test car drove from Germany's Zingelfingen through the Swiss Alps and northern Italy to Cassis on the French Riviera. It covered more than 1,000 kilometers on a single charge. The trip was made with a sealed charger and accompanied by a TUV Sud Independent Expert. Moreover, at the end of the trip, the car still had 15% of the battery charge, or about 140 kilometers of drive range. The average energy consumption also turned out to be a record low, 8.7 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. That means that the Germans achieved an incredible drive range without large scale increases in battery capacity. How did they do it? Thanks to a holistic approach to efficiency, from transmission to aerodynamics, down to the smallest detail, they said. But what exactly does this mean? Let's figure it out. We will start with the Vision EQXX electric drive system, which consists of an electric motor, transmission and power electronics. By the way, experts from the Formula One team helped in system design. The average efficiency of an electric car drive is 95%. That is, 95% of the energy from the battery falls at the wheels. And this is also a record high. The second factor is the battery. The 100 kilowatt hour battery has been specially developed for the Vision EQXX. It delivers the same amount of power as the EQS car battery, but it is 50% smaller and 30% lighter. As a result, a space-saving battery measuring only 200 by 126 by 11 centimeters weighs only 495 kilograms. This was achieved by increasing the energy density level to almost 400 watt hour per square decimeter of volume and a high operating voltage of more than 900 volts. The software has been specially developed. Energy is evenly extracted from the cells, increasing the payload and drive range. Innovative passive cooling of the transmission through a cooling plate in the bottom has also been developed. But not only the battery turned out to be lighter. The car weight is only 1,755 kilograms. For example, a carbon fiber composite was used for the battery top. This technology has already been tested in Formula One, or the Bion EQXX body material with cast aluminium, which is the basis for the lightweight elements that replace a much heavier body of several interconnected parts. Innovation can be seen even in small things, like in aluminium brake discs. And that's not all. How do you like the aerodynamics coefficient of 0.17? It is the best in the world, by the way. Yes, with this car, the wind has practically nothing to catch on. It all starts with a drop-shaped body. A small frontal area of just over 2 square meters and a reduced rear track also have a positive effect on aerodynamics. The rear track is 50 millimeters narrower than the front one, so the rear wheels roll in the airflow of the front wheels. The active rear diffuser, which automatically opens at speeds above 60 kilometers per hour, ensures ideal airflow and also helps to reduce wind drag.
Next are tyres. Bridgestone has developed a special Taranza Eco Edition for Vision EQXX. The rolling resistance rating of these tyres is only 4.7. For comparison, the EU standard allows a level of up to 6.5, and the average rating for tyres on the market is 5.9. The car has the 185-65R20-97T tyres, which means they have a large diameter and a narrow tread. Additionally, the transition from tyre to wheel rim has been improved. Additional assistance are 117 solar panels that charge a 12-volt battery for navigation, comfort systems and multimedia. This also allows you to take the load off the battery and increase the drive range. The solar panels increase the drive range by more than 2%. It is about 25 kilometers of drive range in total. Importantly, the record was not set in ideal conditions, but in the real mode of an ordinary trip. The Vision EQXX's journey began in cold and rainy weather and proceeded at normal speeds, including highway traffic, mountain spiral roads, and city traffic. And that makes Mercedes' achievement even more incredible. But who will try to beat him now? Maybe Tesla. After all, Elon Musk likes to compete.